Hey guys, welcome back. So here is the video you've all been waiting for, Japan Part 2. Now in the second part of our trip, we ended up staying in the Kyoto area, doing a couple of day trips in and out of different places, like the Yuno Zoo, the museum, the Nara Deer Park, just all kinds of different places. So here's a quick video showing you some of the highlights and some of the fun things we ended up getting into. Now one thing I noticed as we were traveling through Japan, there's so many different places that there will just be random things. So as we got off this metro, there was this beautiful mural all over the roof and this beautiful like landscape, small model of the area that we were visiting. So as we were walking up the stairways, once you get up to the landing, you see just all this beautiful art and this wonderful little mural. Now one thing that was really cool about this hostel we stayed at, since it was family owned, there was a lot of personal touches that they did throughout the whole building. Like these walls, there was duct tape images and pictures that they handmade and cut out themselves. Just of things that are in the local area, like the tower, the zoo, just all kinds of different stuff. It was so cool how they just hand stuck all these things on these walls. But now as we walk into our floor, which was the third floor, you see that we were all in a common like washroom area, bathroom, our showers were all shared, and then you have your separate room. In the rooms themselves, there was just two bunk beds and then a futon bed. So it was kind of simple, easy, it got the job done. We didn't really spend too awful much time in here, but it was wonderful. There was a lot of space, we had plenty of room to put all of our stuff out. And Bo ended up actually sleeping on the futon because he wasn't too keen on sleeping on the bunk beds. But anyways, it got the whole do job done. We stayed here for about four nights. And once we got back to the hostel, we ended up going out for a little adventure. One of the coolest stops that we ended up doing was the Yuno Zoo. It was absolutely humongous. We thought we were halfway through and we weren't even close. There was just so much to see. We ended up spending like four and five hours just here. It was so big, there were so many different types of animals. It was just well worth it. So here's just a few clips of some of the animals that we saw, some of the crazy scenery that was around us inside of the zoo.
you guys, this was the craziest thing. This is inside of the zoo. So there's these massive lily pads and flowers and just, there was even a bald eagle over there. It was just crazy. These lily pads were probably the size of my wingspan. They were just so big, but we couldn't get over it. And once we left the zoo, we ended up actually going next door to one of the museums that was close by. Now, sadly, you're not able to take pictures much in the museum itself, but we were able to take a couple of pictures of Bo and Alex wearing one of the headdresses that they were displaying. And now, after a quick bite to eat, we ended up heading to the Osaka Castle. Now, again, you're not really allowed to take many pictures inside, but the outside of it was absolutely gorgeous. You can see just the beautiful architect around the entire side of it. These stones were moved personally to these certain locations. It was just really cool to see all of the thought and effort that goes into building these massive castles. And once you reach the top of the castle, there's like a lookout that you can do and you can just see the city that's around. It's just so crazy how high up we really were. And after we got done with the castle, we ended up heading back to one of the coolest, coolest, coolest experiences we've ever had, which was the Nara Deer Park. Now there was, I couldn't count how many deer there were. They were right as we got off of the subway. So they were just everywhere. This poor little woman was getting attacked by them, so she was running from them. They're so friendly, but they're kind of pushy and they don't really understand their boundaries. So there's just a couple of videos and clips and pictures of what they are doing while we're around. Now something that was super cool about these deer is if you bowed at them, they would actually bow back at you so they could get a cracker. They are the cutest little animals and they have so much fun and they were everywhere. Alex even ended up letting one of them eat a cracker out of his mouth. Now, another day trip that we ended up taking was to one of the shrines local. Now, I cannot pronounce the name of this shrine, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It was massive and there was just so, so much stuff going on and you could walk around it and never see the entirety of it. What you do is when you first get there, you wash off your hands. There's a ritual behind this and it was absolutely cool to see all the other people do it. Bo and Sherry ended up trying to do it too and we just walked around and enjoyed the rest of the day here. So once you're starting to go through these runs, there was just these little pictures, there was name tags of people that have traveled here. It was just really cool to see all of the different history, the woodwork, just it was just gorgeous.
now that we haven't stopped walking all day, we're going to take a little dinner break and enjoy our dinner. So once we get done with the food, we're going to head back to the hostel and re be ready to leave for our next adventure in the morning. Now on to our, one of our last stops of our trip. We are actually gonna be staying in a traditional style Ryokan. It was so nice and highly recommended if you could do it. Now one thing to realize is if you're going up and down these hills with these bus drivers, they are so close and they are flying. They should be NASCAR drivers. They were so scary. We were all just hanging on to each other and just trying to make sure we get through it. But as we were going up these mountains, you can tell how close we really are to all the surroundings. This Ryokan and room was so nice. We ended up staying here for just one night because it is kind of pricey, but it was so worth it. We obviously, when you come in, you take your shoes off and put your slippers on, but there was your restroom. There was multiple closet areas you could put your luggage and stuff in. And then you had two actual size beds looking. We ended up pushing ours together just to make it to where we could sleep beside one another. But it was so nice and very comfortable. They had a full on bathtub, a shower. It was just wonderful. We had a great time and really enjoyed staying here. And since we got here a little late in the afternoon, we ended up doing just a little exploring, walking on to this glass museum. It was so cool. These trees are made out of glass and wire. Same with this little bush. It was just really neat. It ended up being closed to visitors this day when we went, but it was so pretty on the outside. So we just did a little exploring, walking around our area, and then we got ready for our traditional Japanese dinner. And guys, did I mention the Japanese culture knows how to eat? There was so much food for us for. Once we got done with our food, we ended up doing a private onsen, which is like a natural hot spring, which was beautiful. It was so nice. We got to relax in there for about 45 minutes total. It was right outside. Once you looked out, you're looking into this bamboo forest. It was just really pretty and nice. Once we got done with that, we hit the hay and started the next day in a beautiful botanical garden that was close by. And of course, would it be a travel video without me and Bo doing our lift?
And now this is where the end of the trip gets kind of weird. We ended up actually staying in what's called a Christmas hotel. It's considered to be a love hotel, which it's exactly how it sounds. It was very weird, very strange for what we're used to. Everything was Christmas oriented and had Santa Clauses everywhere, just Christmas garland everywhere. It was odd. We had quite an experience. So we ended up staying here for just the very last night of our trip because it was very close to our hotel and it was super cheap. It was like $50 a night, which I can understand why, but it was definitely an experience and one of those things you would probably only do once. You guys, this place was sketchy. They didn't even talk to you. They pretty much just handed you your key and said, here you go. So we are gonna look in both of our bedrooms now. Remind you, it's made mainly for people that only need it for a night. So it was kind of crazy and a little bit provocative, but we obviously didn't touch any of that. We just left in the bed, took a shower, and woke up the next morning. We ended up having to catch the, our flight at like seven o'clock in the morning. So we didn't spend but maybe 15 hours total. So here's a quick little room tour of this place. And now that we're all done with this room and in this hotel, it is time to catch our flight in the morning. I hope you guys have enjoyed these Japan videos. Make sure if you haven't already, check out Japan video part one so you won't miss out on what we did in the Tokyo area. And make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram just to see any upcoming events or any new travel places that we reach. Hope you guys enjoy. See you next time.